Hello friends, David Miller, Phoenix, Arizona multimedia artist, educator, photographer, here to talk to you about an instant film set I did recently with model Reese de la Tierra. She is a world traveling freelance model, been in the game for like 16 years, I believe. And she recently came to Phoenix. This corresponded with a gallery show that I was doing at the same exact time in a store called Eternal Noir. It's a uh, goth fetish boutique slash gallery, Midtown Phoenix. And as I was setting up my work for this show and checking it out, uh, I had spoke with the owner about using the space and using the fashion that was available within the store. And uh, it all kind of came together at the same exact time. I used my Polaroid One Step Plus for all of this instant film work. I was taking advantage of a lot of the things you can do in the app and the Polaroid One Step Plus. So the app allows you to do double exposures, it allows for light painting, it allows for remote control. I have to say I love shooting with this camera and the app. My previous Polaroid cameras I've had, uh, not so much the SX70, but my previous one-step camera, I'd be there like pushing the button over and over and over and it's not going off. And then the moment gets kind of lost. The expression might uh, fade a little bit if the model's trying to hold something. But when you're working with the app, you can just knock this stuff out super fast. The film I was using was this batch clearance film that I picked up at Target. There was tons and tons of this stuff and the beginning of December because it was all expiring. And sometimes uh, people look at expired film and they say, I'm not touching that, it's gonna have bad results. There are those of us in the photographic community, people who are into lomography, who are into lo-fi aesthetics, that when something says expired, it actually feels more valuable to me. And so I got this rose gold frame stuff, I got this gradient frame stuff, and a funny thing happened, particularly with the gradient frame stuff. Um, we had vintage clothes on Reese. We had kind of vintage aesthetic to the whole store. It is meant to be kitschy, noirish, uh, out there, alternative fashion all at once. And just putting all these things together, I felt like we were getting things that were very 70s fashion inspired. I can see a lot of the art photographers of the 1970s and a lot of the fashion photography of the 1970s carrying almost the same aesthetic, almost the same muted faded colors. I don't know if it was so much the near expiration of the film, if it's the way that I'm looking at the colors with a funky frame around it, but I really enjoy this particular aesthetic. It feels like when I go to an antique store and pick up a magazine where the ink has rotted over decades. And we're gonna wrap up. Here's Reese talking about her experience shooting with instant film. Photographers that shoot with film tend to be more enthusiastic about really doing it from a place of art. But I also, there's also a lot of digital photographers that shoot with as their passion. Um, my preference is a photographer that's really into what they do and like, yeah, artistically minded and inspired to create. When the pictures are instant, does it change your engagement with the shoot? Do you get any energy off of like, oh, there it is? Yeah, that part's pretty fun. But this like product just like, like comes out of the camera and you get to like interact with it and see it. And um, I like the idea of being able to work with prints hands on. And it seems like that's what you do with your like packing tape and stuff and like marking it up. It's pretty cool. Um, I believe that a, a great model is a good actress and to be a great actress is to genuinely be able to feel. So I believe that we should all do what we do what we love with our lives. And if we're doing it like with feeling and like a genuine connection to ourselves, you can feel it in the art. You can feel the, the intensity, like the presence that someone has with their own body and with the space. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.